Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali from Excel Basement Private Limited. In this video, we will explore one of the very uh, awesome and amazing uh, feature added in the latest uh, Power BI desktop version for September 2020 that is called Smart Narrative. And uh, now this is available. So let me uh, show you my this Power BI desktop version. So I will go to help tab and I will click on about icon so as you can see that I have updated this Microsoft Power BI desktop version that is September 2020 so for uh, using this uh, smart narrative feature in Microsoft Power BI you are required to have the latest version okay and uh, this is something very awesome uh, feature added and uh, it's also self-explanatory that it creates a narration and it's a smart so based on intelligence uh, it it can quickly create a summary for you with respect to your dashboard uh, you created in power bi desktop so once uh, for, for the very beginning if you are starting for the very first time uh, what you are required to do is uh, you have to go to file tab in the power bi desktop so after file tab click on options and settings and then options and in the preview feature uh, you are required to check mark the smart narrative visual and make sure that it is turned on so here is the screenshot as you can see here uh, so make sure that you go to the preview features and turn on smart narrative visual and press ok and uh, after that restarting the power bi desktop uh, application you will see the smart narrative on the visualization pane so as you can see here on my desktop version so it's now available smart narrative and uh, let me uh, give you a background of this uh, smart narrative feature is uh, way back in 2009 or 2010 uh, when I used to be a business analyst in one of the organization in Pakistan so uh, almost uh, 10 years or 11 years back um, as, as I was looking forward for the management information system reports from the Oracle at that time uh, we used to create a report that is called B1 that's related to the ratios and ana analysis so what we do is we f we export that data from the Oracle and then we import the data into Excel and then we apply some formulas functions create charts for that particular month numbers financial numbers and then we were required to create a summary that is specific to that visual what is going on in that particular business or a segment and it creates an entire day or even two to three days to review that narrations and then uh, your boss uh, were required to just cross check that but now uh, after 10 years the things has been changed uh, drastically and uh, in 2009-2010 if you can compare um, almost most of the users using Excel even now as well but after 2015 uh, we now have the Power BI and now this year in September 2020 we have the smart narrative which very quickly generates a, a summary a sentences with, with the real time numbers and even you can apply DAX as well and you can add more uh, sentences uh, to that particular narration so I will go to the demonstration side as in next few minutes but before that let me tell you what it does it, it has a real power of uh, giving you uh, a sentences as you can see here now I have this visual here and when I right click on it you will find an option that is called summarize so automatically from this specific visual on your dashboard uh, the smart narrative gives you a, a real time uh, sentences out of that now in the in the older times it was uh, users were doing it manually and every time the data changes so they need to change the sentences as well according to that requirement and this this summary is also customizable so if you want to add some more values and if uh, and, and it's also based on QNA uh, that is basically on the back end it's NLP 
so you can ask questions and you can add value to this uh, smart narrative and it it also add sentences in on your dashboard as well so on this website which is called powerbi.microsoft.com uh, you will find this visual smart narrative preview and uh, you have this demonstration you can read out that entire article that how fantastic this feature is now available uh, so in, in the traditional times the data analyst even the business analyst actually the business analyst were required to create a summary for that particular visuals in, in their financial reports so now it's it's being on some clicks and behind that definitely uh, the intelligence is working so this is very awesome uh, feature added in this month September 2020 so let's get into the practical side as you can see here I have a visual that is the uh, stack uh, column chart and uh, what I can do is uh, to find that smart narrative as I told you the first way is to uh, find in the visualization pane here it is or if you click on the insert tab the smart narrative is also added here right so for example if I have a very blank canvas nothing on this canvas this is entirely a blank white screen and if I click on smart narrative so it says no summaries found we don't yet support summarization of for any of the selected visuals so it's uh, important and necessary that you should have a visual on your this canvas uh, dashboard and uh, when you click or select any of the visual then uh, this smart narrative will start creating sentences for you out of that visual uh, a story basically so and, and the other option is that when you right click on this visual you will find this contextual menu and here you will find uh, a word that is called summarize so when you click on summarize that means that you are telling uh, power bi to make a narration of that visual okay so the, these are two similar ways so let's say if i click smart narrative now very quickly see that uh, very quickly uh, from that particular visual it it creates some sentences for you and it says that credit card has the highest average revenue at 20 8775.21 followed by a check and cash payment type in New York made up to 12.86 percentage of revenue New York accounted for 15.44 percentage of revenue so on the back end definitely uh, there is a logic of creating these kind of sentences and these are real-time numbers so moreover what you can do is when you are active on this the smart narrative you can select the entire text and you can change the font style you can increase the font size as well uh, you can also add value and here you can ask Q&A so you can type uh, a question based on NLP and once you are done with that uh, you can also set a formatting for that particular answer as well if, if it will generate a number so you can uh, give it a format of percentage or a dollar sign or comma formatting decimal formatting and then definitely uh, a name of of the value as well or and it will be added in your this summary 